Whitney Webb has had a warning for a long time that Elon Musk just confirmed. BlackRock is also trying to turn the whole crypto business into a dollar market. This goes for both XRP and Bitcoin. There has never been a more important time in human history than now. We can either have a system that gives us more freedom in our finances and politics, or we can have a system that controls us totally. Crypto is the most important part of all of this. Today we're going to talk about a lot of things like what happened in the UK recently, the recent interview between Donald Trump and Elon Musk, and of course Whitney Webb and what she said. This is all connected to XRP, which is what all of these issues are about. Now, everyone needs to pay close attention and click the like button. Let's start. First, I want to share some good news with you. Independent writing has been on the rise lately. I mean, since I'm not getting paid by the government, if you watch my station, you're probably getting free journalism. I'm not being ruled by a rich person. With a very big platform, I say what I really think. This is possible because of what Elon Musk is doing with X. People were not forced to change their political ideas because of him, as long as they're not encouraging terrorists or something completely crazy. With all of that in mind, we're starting to see that shows like CNN and CNBC that are paid for by the government are losing a lot of viewers while independent reporters are getting a lot more. I feel very hopeful about the future of people because we are finally getting to the bottom of our problems and figuring out how to fix them. That's why it's so important for journalists to be independent. It's fair. People say what they really think. And even though people may have different views, I think it's for the good of all people. With that in mind, I'm going to talk about some darker topics in today's movie, but I'll make up for it in other ways. And it will all have something to do with XRP, so please pay close attention, OK? Let me tell you about what's going on in the UK right now, OK? The police are beating people up. There are riots and political unrest. And people are calling for mass deportations. People are also being arrested for what they post on X, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. There is no way that could happen in the future. If you value free speech, you must watch this movie and pay attention. The British gave up their guns, and now the government jails them for things they wrote on Facebook. Please give that some thought. If you think about it, that is completely crazy, right? The same thing happens in Venezuela, which does have a regime. The current president was put in place against the will of the people, and the elections were rigged. The next thing you know, they have a communist government, or in some cases, a dictatorship in these places around the world. That's why I think it's so important that you don't give up your right to keep and bear guns on. Because if you have a cruel government, the first thing they will want to do is take that away from you so you can't protect yourself if things go bad. This is happening right now in the UK. What I mean is, people are still dying in the UK even though guns aren't allowed there. A lot of people are getting stabbed. Someone recently went into a mosque and stabbed a few people, which is terrible. The same is true for churches. People are stabbing people in churches. People are always dying. Crime doesn't go away just because you take away guns. In fact, we're seeing the opposite in the UK where people can't protect themselves. Now, they can't even post online without getting caught. And people who hurt other people in public, people who post things on Facebook that the government doesn't like are jailed for three years. People who don't post those things get out of jail in 24 months. Let me know if that's a system you want to split up. And finally, since now is one of the best times to buy cryptocurrency, I'm going to give you guys an amazing deal from Margex. If you trade on their exchange, you'll get access to thousands of dollars in bonus funds that will help you make a lot more money on all of your trades. Use my referral code LEVY20 to get huge discounts on all of your trades as well. To do this, go to the referral area and enter it. It's also very easy to start trading. For example, to buy XRP, all you have to do is go to the trading area. Once you have an account, you choose how much leverage you want to use, enter the amount you want to deal with, and press. It's as simple as buy and market that easy. These things are getting a lot of attention from Elon Musk on X, and I find them very creepy. Because when you think about it, cryptocurrency could be used in a crazy, bad way to gain more power in this way. I mean, if cryptocurrency or blockchain is set up incorrectly, it lets the government watch over your activities and what you do with your money, right? They get to decide what to do if you don't have any cash on hand. We don't like what you wrote online now. OK, the bank has been frozen. You can't pay anything. You will now be without a house. Yes, that's a possible future for us. But on the other hand, if we do have Bitcoin, the government can't control technology that is fully under our control. If technology is truly decentralized and there to serve us, not the government, then we will be able to control what the government does. Now is a very important time in history for us to fight the right battles and destroy any government that tries to use cryptocurrency or their power to control us even more. Instead of more government, we need less of it. Um, it is not at all what is best for us. Keeping all of that in mind, let's move on to Whitney Webb. She was talking about this because it has everything to do with Elon Musk's cryptocurrency and what's going on in many parts of the world right now, like the UK and Venezuela. Let's talk about how much you want to give these guys full power. It seems like corporations have taken over our lives and now the business of the world's companies is our business. I'm interpreting, but that's what he said. I like this thing, guys. The UN is not on your side. To put it another way, they are tokenizing all of their old rackets right now to fit into this new kind of fourth industrial revolution model. That's exactly what's going on everywhere, but people don't seem to notice because they're hiding it behind things like SDGs and Agenda 2030. Uh, 
this seems like it would make the world a better place. Then you take a closer look and think, this is crazy. Why do all the bankers have to do this? I really dislike it. But if you look back at the UN, Kofi Annan, who was Secretary General at the end of the 1990s, said, yeah, so you know how we used to be at least seen as like a, the public sector? You know, the public sector, you know, the public sectors of the world are coming together to like democratically vote on stuff. I, I have a lot to say. Anyway, I could say, here's an example of why you should never trust bankers for hours, and someone would still use the term. I get along with Jerome Powell, and Jamie Dimon is my shining hero. And I don't, dude. Sometimes you just can't get through to people. There will be chaos and instability in order to make this place where they want to push people into this new system. This means that the ease and comfort that keeps people asleep will be messed up. Really, what people do at that point in time is the most important part of this whole thing and how it plays out. That window looks like it's the most important one. That's another reason why it's so important to be local. There's a big cyber attack on the banking system. The web is unavailable for a few days. What are people going to do? In order to find out what's going on, they are going to search the streets. That's why it's important to know what's going on and have ties in your area. That way you can tell people what they need to do and what's going on at that moment. It's really important. Also, the internet won't be the same when it comes back on. It looks like AI will be in charge of all the material. Nothing you post online will be separate from your IDA. Everything you read and take in on every site you visit will also be stored. And they're going to use AI to look at all of that information and decide if you should be blocked. This is all the same as predicted police. This method already has all of this built in. In the US, the Biden government has already made the policies that will be used. They've had it since 2021 when they first took power. So here we have Elon Musk talking about how we shouldn't give up our rights. Today we have Whitney Webb who is talking about how the central bank, BlackRock and other huge companies are planning to take over the whole financial system and how everything fits together. This is something that everyone should be worried about and we do need to fight it and keep working for free speech, right? This message is more important than ever, so we need to keep letting sites like X spread it. That we all stick together right now and keep sharing the right information with each other. We're going to keep going on this journey together, so if you agree with that message, it's more important than ever that you like this video so more people see it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. See you next time.